this week's show, we're going to be looking at the difference between a sales process through cold calling and generating business through referrals on how you can get more results in less time with less work. We'll also be seeing Dr. Phil and asking some questions from our audience. Coming up on this week's show. So we're going to look at the difference here between cold calling and referrals. Let's define a cold call. So a cold call would be where a salesperson rings up a prospect, says, hello, so-and-so, How's your, how are you, what's your name? And the prospect is like, who are you? They have no prior knowledge of who you are or what you do. That is a cold call. And this is a way of getting new business that is tried and tested, albeit maybe not so effective. So let's just look at this whole process. So first of all, what happens is when they pick up the call, the salesperson will try and build a relationship with the prospect. Where are you from? What's your name? How long have you been here? And the reason we do this is to try and develop a relationship. People buy from people they like. However, it's very short and doesn't take a lot of time. If the salesperson is good enough or lucky enough to get an appointment, we move to stage two. But classically on cold calling, the success rate is not a lot. In fact, it's probably about a one in 20 success rate with a lot of people saying, get lost, go away, not interested, I hate cold calls. So it's quite a tough job. So if we're lucky enough to get to that appointment, the salesperson will sit down and try and develop what the client needs, what their aspirations are, what their pain is, so they can develop a need. And when people have a need, they're more inclined to buy. However, even though the client knows they need the service, they then come up with objections. And we've, we've all had these. Yeah, I haven't got the time, the decision maker's not in town, uh, I haven't got enough money, it's too expensive, my goldfish just died, whatever the reason they object. Now that whole process, when you look at phone calls, rejections, drive time, meeting time, develop the proposal time, can take up to eight hours. And if we're having to do that on an ongoing basis, that is a lot of time on sales. What we're going to be looking at next week is the difference with the referral process and how the referral process can take that eight hours down to zero. So tune in next week to see how you can save yourself some serious time. So on this week's Dr. Phil, we have a question from Karim in Dubai. And Karim said to me, says, Phil, I've been to training courses in the past and obviously I take away some knowledge and often the trainers are saying to me, you know, you need to come back and do the program again. And I don't want to go again because I've already been once. Why should I? Well, you know, the interesting thing is, Karim, is most people can only take away so much information from any training program. In fact, they often say it's around 17% because we keep tuning in and tuning out. So going back has value. But here's another thing. When you go back to a training event, you'll find three things happen. You have A, you see information and you hear things that you are currently doing, which is great. B, you'll see things that you know you should be doing or you used to do, but are no longer doing. And C, you'll learn things that you've never thought of and you're not doing. So it is always a good idea to go back to training events to do things you should be doing and to learn new things. Thank you.